<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? For Lychee Friday. Oh, what is it? Middle of September. Hopefully you guys are having a good beginning of fall, right? It's going to be a beautiful day here in Michigan. We've had a great week and we've got so much fun to share with you. Again, I just did Facebook Live last Friday and I haven't been able to do them as regularly as I used to. So this is like, I feel I'm like super excited that I'm doing two like in a row back to back Fridays. Oh, it's probably throwing some people because I've kind of been doing it every other week. So hopefully you guys all know that it's happening today. I always do try to post the night before, like on Thursday night and let you know if I'm going to be live or not. So just kind of know that you can always pop onto our Facebook group um, the night before Thursday night and I'll have a post usually right around seven o'clock. Hello, Miss Cheryl, letting you know whether I'm going to be live the next day on Friday or not. But here we are. Yes, we are live. We are playing with today. I made some super fun. Hey, Susie, super fun um, Christmas cards. I'm like diving right into Christmas with this handmade wishes stamp set. And there is a coordinating punch that goes right with this stamp set. You can see we've got some, a couple of kind of outlining images that work with the punch, right? They coordinate right with the kind of the style or the, the design of the punch. And then some fun sentiments, kind of builder sentiments, right? Because we've got Christmas, New Year, holidays, and with love. Those are all of those kind of right there in that beautiful um, cursive print. And then peace, love for you. Um, we've got handmade, wishing you joy and baked. So I guess you could probably do like a baked with love. So just a cute tag set, right? Which I actually ended up using this more, uh, well, to make cards. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Thanks for sharing the video. Um, yeah, so I actually made um, cards instead of tags, but certainly that's the idea, right, is that you can make some super cute tags. Oh, we've got the little to and from right there, and then the merry and happy right there as well. And then look at that cute little gingerbread guy, and then just some other kind of coordinating imagery there as well. So super cute stamp set. I think you guys are gonna love what I've come up with with this stamp set and again with the coordinating punch. I can't remember the name of this punch. It's some kind of label punch. Um, maybe we'll figure that out as time goes on. So anyway, gonna be a great day today. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, well, I just wanna say thank you. Every single person that has heard my like, um, plea for like help. I'm getting closer. And I've had so many people asking me that too. Hi, Bernice. How are you? Um, are you close? Are you going to be able to make it? And I'm still, I've got my fingers crossed. I do still have a ways to go. So if you're, you know, so inclined to be able to put an order in through me and help kind of, we're, we're building, we've got some good momentum going. You guys have been amazing too. I've been, I can't say enough, like just how humbled I am. It just is, I don't know. It just is like my blowing to me. Um, you guys are just all so sweet and helpful and I just truly appreciate each of you and your orders and just kind of being a part of the Facebook group and sharing on here and conversation, um, you know, on our Facebook um, lives and on the group and all of that. So I just truly appreciate all of you. And again, thank you. So I'm getting closer. I, like I said, if I get there before September 30th, I have a feeling though it's truly going to come right down to the wire. Um, so, but if I get there before then, I will let you guys know as soon as it happens. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be right down to like the kind of the last minute. So if you've got a couple of weeks, if you're so inclined to be able to put an order in, I'll give you the host code. It's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com as well. So, but again, thank you guys. Um, yeah, and let's see what else, what else do I want to tell you guys about? Um, oh, perfect partners. I have kind of been neglecting to mention this and I'm like, I got to make sure you guys all know about this. Some fun, it's six different die sets. They're calling it the perfect partners kind of promotion. So a couple of different, thanks Cheryl. I know I love that stamp set too. Um, couple of different, yeah, six different ones. So we've got six different stamp sets that are in the annual catalog, and then they made a die set that'll coordinate with each of those six stamp sets, and they're only available through the end of September or while supplies last. So they want you guys to know, you know, this is like a don't wait too long kind of thing. And it's funny because I was going through my list. Um, I think a few of you guys saw we had the stamp sale yesterday, so hopefully you were able to take advantage of that. But I was looking at my list of stamp sets that I'm still wanting to get out of the annual catalog, and one of them was that, um, <clears throat> where am I seeing it? 
Oh yeah, I'm like, I thought it was on here. Yeah, so the little, the This Birthday Piggy stamp set, and then there are a coordinating set of dies that go with that stamp set also. So you can get that in the bundle too, and you save 10%, or if you just want the dies, get those while you can, because you can always get the stamp set later too. But so let me kind of share with you guys. So it's this cute little, I've kind of been posting too, like I said, on our Facebook group, but we have, so one of the stamp sets is called the Apple Harvest stamp set and you can kind of see if you go online to go to stampinup.com and just click on specials the perfect partners um bundles and die sets will show up in there too but so yeah again the apple blossom dies going with the apple harvest stamp set and then over here we have the fresh cut flowers stamp set and then there are coordinating dies that go with that stamp set. And then four more, that one that I mentioned, the um, This Birthday Piggy stamp set, and then they're calling them the Playful Piggy dies. That's that one right there. And then we'll go down right here. We have the uh, Waterfall Canyon stamp set and the Waterfall dies. Look at all of those dies, oh my goodness. So again, bundle saving 10% when you get the stamp set and the dies. The Trimming the Tree stamp set and the Tree Trimming dies. Those look awesome. I see a label in there too, so I always love those, right? And then lastly, we have the Yeti, the Yeti to Party stamp set, and then the Yeti dies. That's a super cute one too. So again, hi Philomena, how are you? Those six stamp sets are in the annual catalog. You can always get those. The dies are only available now through the end of September or while supplies last, as well as the bundle, same situation now through September 30th or while supplies last. So, and the bundle you save 10%. So I'll um, include the link to above our Facebook page today too, so you can check those out. I've been posting it on our Facebook group here also. So I just wanna make sure, cause like I said, I've kind of been, I've had so many other things to share with you guys. I haven't um, remembered to share that with you. So I was like, okay, we gotta do that today. Cause you still have a couple weeks of September, right? We're only like halfway through September at this point. So um, yes, then one other quick reminder. So um, thanks for the share too, Philomena. The one day retreat is coming up on October 22nd. Today, this Friday, September 16th is the last day to RSVP and get that additional free gift in your goodie bag. You can continue to RSVP all the way up until, um, I think it's October 10th is the last day you can RSVP for that one day retreat on Saturday, October 22nd. But today is the last day, make sure you get your payment in and RSVP if you wanna get that extra free gift in your goodie bag. So 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church. I feed you all day long. We have cute um, little treats that I give you um, throughout the day. Um, let's see, there are make and takes, the goodie bag that will use some of the products from your make and takes or use some of the products from your goodie bag to complete your make and take so you can see things that you can do with those products in your goodie bag. Um, I'll have lots of like scrapbook pages and other cards and inspiration. And it's just fun to hang out with everybody and make cute stuff all day long. So $64 for the day, I would love to have you attend. I include the um, details for that link also above our Facebook Live video right here too. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd love for you to attend the one day retreat. We always have so much fun. And I love our space too at the, um, at the Peace Lutheran Church. You get an eight foot table. Everybody gets a big table for themselves to work on you. I actually bring all of my stamp sets, all my die cutting machines and all my dies and embossing folders. And you guys can use all of that throughout the day too. So yeah, let me know if you're interested. Love to get you signed up for that. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, um, let's just jump in. We're gonna do our first drawing right now for the Rhinestone Basic Jewels. If you shared the last Friday's Facebook Live video, if you signed up for my email list, or if you shared the Class To Go Kit post, uh, your name is in my little basket right here. Okay, so we have one lucky winner of the Rhinestone Jewels. Okay. Let's see who will it be. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, one name, I'm like, I, whenever they get stuck together, I'm like, okay, we gotta separate them all out. Okay, here we go, one. I just have one in my hand. I always have to make sure two of that. Miss Danielle Aker, all right, congratulations, Danielle. I will put these rhinestones out on the porch for you to pick up at your convenience. So congratulations, Danielle, that's fun. Um, okay, I gotta dump those out. Have my little tub with everybody's 
names from the online orders. We'll do that in just a few minutes. In the meantime, though, we have the awesome, the, oh, these are so cute, the little heart pearls are what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live. So, and I think, I have to look at these. There are different kind of shades on here, too. I don't know. One looks very, like, pearly and then a couple of them are a little more translucent but we've got and they're kind of all they're not all like facing the same direction but they're just so pretty these beautiful pearls are what we'll give away on our next facebook live again if you share this facebook live video if you share the class to go kit post you'll see that throughout the week right here on our facebook group and if you sign up for my email list your name goes in the drawing okay and we'll do that on our next facebook live which is actually going to be two weeks from today so it's actually i think it's september 30th i think it's yeah that would make sense because today's the 16th yeah so uh september 30th will be our next facebook live and that's when we'll do the drawing for those heart pearls okay um so yeah okay let's see let's see oh i just wanted to kind of um because I know this is a way for me to communicate with like lots of different people. So for example, anybody in my team, or if you're a demonstrator, even if you're not in my team, I just want to make sure, and I've kind of been trying to post on our a separate team Facebook group, but make sure that you check your reports to make sure that you're meeting your title requirements because September 30th is the end of our Stampin' Up! year and that's when Stampin' Up! looks at, um, and the big one I always think of is Bronze Elite. So make sure you have at least $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales. You've got until the end of the month to get that. So if you're like at $1,700, make sure you get another $100 in orders in to get to $1,800 in sales. And then you get that Bronze Elite 25% discount for all your orders for a whole nother Stampin' Up! year. So October 1st, all the way through to September 30th. And even if you dip below the $1,800 in sales throughout that year, it doesn't matter because you're already titled at Bronze Elite and you get those benefits. Um, the other one too is silver too because you get that extra 2% product bonus each quarter if you have $3,600 in rolling 12 month sales and one team member. So I am gonna go through my reports and make sure that anybody um, that isn't meeting their title requirements right now that I let you know that so that you've got a couple of weeks to be able to um, you know, meet those requirements. And I'll be sending out those email this weekend too. Um, so just wanna let you know that. But again, even if you're not in my team, make sure you're checking your reports. When you log onto the Stamp It Up website in that bottom right corner are the little quick stats. You can get some basic information there or if you go to your reports, which is up at the top where your name is, click on that little drop down arrow and then go to my reports, you can get all of that information there too. So just make sure, because this is like a big deal, right? To make sure you're at your title or maintain your title or get back to it if you're not quite there so that you can keep your benefits for a whole nother year, which is awesome, right? Okay, um, let's see what else. Oh, just one more quick reminder I'm doing for local customers that my customer appreciation event is gonna be next Thursday, so a little less than a week, a week from last night, Thursday, September 22nd from 6 until 9 p.m. We will be at the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma again. Um, anyone who has been a customer in at any point is welcome to attend. Um, you can bring a new friend for just $5. We've got make and takes. I make little treats for you. We're going to have a buy one, get one free sale, um, snacks and treats, and just have kind of a nice, like, thank you. Thank you very much for your business and attending events and that sort of thing, um, little customer appreciation event. So keep that in mind and let me know if you're going to be able to make it because I want to make sure I have enough uh, make and takes cut for everybody and treats made for everybody too. Okay. So the RSVPs have been coming in. Um, I'm asking, hopefully I hear from everybody by next Monday. Um, so that'll make sure I have enough time to get everything prepped and ready to go for Thursday night. Okay. All right. So let's see, we are going to do, hi Anna, how are you? We're going to do our next drawing i want to make sure you guys know okay so if you're new to facebook live if you kind of haven't been around um lately or you just want a refresher i want to give you that refresher because this is a big thing so kind of my customer appreciation event like if you're a local customer kind of doing a customer appreciation event like online too by giving so much good thank you stuff 
for your online orders too. So, okay, let me just review because we have a lot that I'm doing. I was even like, wait a minute, what all am I doing when I was putting my packages together after last week's Facebook Live? So, for example, if you put an online order in through me, you get both of the cards that I demonstrated. <laughs> yes, I'm glad I can that you're able to catch us live too as well, Anna. Okay, so the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, you're going to get both of these. Oops, it's like stuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You're gonna get both of these cards, so I'm gonna be making a bunch of these cards for everybody, okay? So both of these cards you get as a thank you from me, right? You also get to pick from the free embellishment, which I gave all of mine away, and I've got another order coming, but the free embellishment for, uh, what are we in, September? Um, these are called the Adhesive Backed Sequins and Gems. You can kind of see them um, like right there, right? So that's our free embellishment. Or you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, 16 different projects in here. They tell you step-by-step -step how to make them. This was the project that I um, submitted for the September Demo Design Dream Team, so you can learn how to make that beauty right there. Okay, so free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. Your name goes in the drawing to win. The, and of course, that's also on the truck. I thought I ordered it last week and apparently I didn't, so I have another order coming. You know, it's one of those he's probably gonna show up like while we're doing the Facebook Live. But in the meantime, I've got it. The vintage Christmas stamp set, your name's gonna go in the drawing for this. Plus, you get to pick a free celebration item. I'm getting really, really low on celebration items though. So I just kind of want to warn you about that. But I also am giving away 10 free, oops, I, I dropped one. There we go. You get 10 free Christmas cards for me. So these are cards that I've had in my stash. They're all beautiful, wonderful, using old product. Though. I have to make sure that you guys know that. So you can't be like, hey, I love that ribbon. I want to order that ribbon. You can't get the ribbon any longer. But they're great. They're great cards, right? They're great card layouts that you can use your current product to inspire you to make more projects. Or maybe you have some of this stuff in your stash, right? In your old stash of stuff. And that'll inspire you to pull it out and use that also. So my one little caveat is since I'm running low on my celebration items, if I, I don't, like, like I said, I only have a couple left. So if I run out entirely, you get 20 free Christmas cards. Or if I still have some left and you'd rather have the 20 free Christmas cards instead of the 10 cards in the celebration item, you can do that too, okay? So to recap, $50 order gets you two cards from Facebook Live from last week, gets you a free embellishment or the PDF tutorial, gets you 10 free handmade cards, and gets you either a celebration choice or another 10 free Christmas cards, okay? All in an effort to say thank you so much and to help kind of push me over that threshold that I need to get to, like the sales that I need to get um, to be able to earn that incentive trip. Again, I got two weeks, so we've got lots of time left and I'm hoping we can be able to do it. Okay. All right. So your name right now, if you put an online order in through me, is in my little basket to win that vintage Christmas stamp set. So we're going to shake these around. We're going to do this right now. We have one of the lucky winner that will get the stamp set. If not, you still get so much other good stuff. I think it's completely worth that $50 order. I hope. I hope you guys think so. Uh, okay. So here we go. One lucky winner is let's see who is it miss k jacoby all right congratulations k you are the winter winner of the vintage christmas stamp set hey abby how are you <laughs> thanks for popping on today okay so on our next facebook live again in two weeks from today let me flip because again this is in the um <laughs> yes right here it's, it's on the truck it's on the way I'm going to give away, this is, I love this stamp set. This one's been catching my eye for a while. This little sweet gingerbread stamp set right here. You can see lots of cute projects made with the stamp set and dies. And then I just, I love the little house. There's something about the house. I think we had one a few years ago and I love that too. So that's what your name will go in the drawing to win that. Uh, again, the sweet gingerbread stamp set on our next Facebook Live, okay? All right, let's see. Have I done everything? I got to check my notes. You guys know me. I'm like a notes queen. But yeah, I think we are good. I went through it pretty fast today. But yeah. Oh, oh, I know. I want to show you guys one more little thing. So 
Uh, I love to make little treats for um, people that are a part of my club, so I have to share with you guys. I know it might be a little bit like spoiler um, if you haven't been to a club yet um, this month, but I was like, I gotta just show you guys because I think it's so cute. So I made these little Halloween treats, right? Of course, I had to put my favorite candy this time of year, little candy corns in there. So it's just, it's a little treat box. I used one of our punches to kind of punch out the top of that. Um, just to make that little background, right? And then that fun little witch's hat, stamped that in black memento ink and then just colored it in with some of our um, stamp and blends, right? And then that cute little spider and then the little um, circle and decorative circle, whatever that's called, punch, I think. So I will, I'm gonna do a little write-up on this. So check out, watch for my blog. Um, I'll have a little write-up on how you make this um, little treat box because it's actually really, really simple. And then you can kind of see, right? I mean, it's not very big, um, just that little, little, little treat. Um, bag there with the candy cords in it. So yeah, I just had to share that with you guys though. So, okay. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I keep looking like, okay, okay, we're all right. We're all right. We got this, right? <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm trying to find where is, I got to get my host code. So we have Yep, I have the right host code for September. So this is the code, hello, Miss Tracy, that you're gonna want to use if you order online through me to get all of that free stuff that I told you guys about. Um, okay, so turn your heads away. We are flying through the air and I'm gonna show you some fun projects. Okay. All right. I got a new phone case and I think that's part of what the problem is. It's a little bit heavier. <laughs> And so my thing, okay, come on, little guy. Okay, sorry, guys, bear with me one second. I'm trying to get this. Okay, I think we're okay. I sure hope so, because that last Friday, I think it was, it like flopped down on me. So I probably just need to get a new um, mount. I'm working on it. Okay, so here's our host code, the dwyn 6 H6SV is what we're, hello Brenda, thanks for joining us, is that host code that you're gonna wanna use um, to get all the goodies. Okay, so actually let me, I wanna do a quick reminder. Um, I've had some good response and I would love to get more signed up for my spruced up class to go. Bonnie, hello. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so it looks like one of those kind of scooted around. But okay, so just I'm going to kind of show you the cards and tell you real quick the details on the class to go. I've got all of those there. Yeah. Okay. So spruced up class to go. You get these four cards, two of each of them. I'll just kind of flip through those, right? Because they're so cute. I love the stripey paper, right? So you get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. Option number one includes the bundle, the stamp set, and the dies. Beautiful stamp set, super duper cute. Dies with all the little outlines. You can see all the fun you can have with those. You get the full package of the festive sequins or the seasonal sequins. You get full bolts of the garden green and real red ribbon, and you get a quarter of a pack of the sweetest Christmas designer series paper. So you're gonna get a six by 12. These are 12 by 12 pieces, obviously. I'm gonna cut it in half and you're gonna get a six by 12 piece that you can use to make your projects. And then you always have extra for other fun things to make as well. You get the designer series paper for free in option number one. And again, while supplies last, you get a free celebration item. Or you know what? I'll throw in the 10 free Christmas cards if you'd rather have those, okay? So option number one, oh, includes the PDF tutorial too, is $81. Option number two does not include the stamp set and the dies. You get the ribbon, the sequins, the designer series paper, and all the parts and pieces to make four of each of these cards, right? We're gonna scoot that over a little bit. There we go, now you guys can see. Option number two is $32. Option number three is that PDF tutorial, $15. Anytime you want, you can get that. My downline gets it for free, any of my expired stampers. And also the make and takes, they can get the, all the parts and pieces to make these four cards for just $12, okay? RSVPs are actually due next Friday, the 23rd of September, and the kits will ship out no later than October 5th. Okay, so if you're interested, please let me know. These cards are so much fun. You are gonna love putting them together. Okay, all right. 
here we go. We are gonna play now with the Handmade Wishes stamp set. That is quite a glare, isn't it? Oh, hi. I'm gonna move the table a little bit. There we go. Now we don't have the glare, right? Okay. Um, what else was I looking for? My notes? I think I'm good though, right? Okay, so Handmade Wishes. Okay, here is, oh, I know what I was looking for. I knew I was over here for a reason. We need the grid paper, right? So that I can actually make my projects. Okay, and I'm gonna put that so I know I'm in view properly, okay? All right, so Stampin' Our Punch. Okay, so first card, here we go. Super sweet, simple, cute, using also the Lights Aglow Designer Series paper. Okay, have to pull this out and show you guys. You guys, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is gorgeous paper. The colors in here are, oh, need my glasses, hold on. We have Basic Black, Cherry Cobbler, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Very Vanilla, okay? So, oh, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> I'm glad you like that one. So I love like the gold accents too, that pretty there. Can you guys see in the right light? Now it's almost like a little bit dark. Now the, of course, ooh, and it's like, um, I don't know, what do you say? What are those? I can't, I'm like drawing a blank on what you would call that print there, right? But these are kind of fun too, these little frame kind of things. And then that's like interesting, right? So beautiful, there's some more of those frames. This is really not good, the lighting now, is it? We might have to move the... There are some fun black too, right? And lots of stars. So beautiful, right? Okay, I don't like this, it's too dark. We're coming back. We'll go right about there. We'll see if that helps us a little bit, right? Okay, so yes, anyway, the Lights of Glow Designer Series paper, that's that paper that I used right there. Okay, we used lots of fun things on this card actually. Okay, I'm gonna get my inks. I'm gonna stamp out, okay. All right, let's see. And I was going back and forth trying to decide whether I wanted to use white or vanilla because I know it says this is vanilla, but I actually kind of liked white better with this one. So I'm confusing myself because I had like different things um, in here, but I, th I think I've got it. Let me just get rid of that piece <laughs> right there. There we go. Okay, so we have our, this is evening evergreen cardstock. So eight and a half by 11, right? Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base, right? Then on the inside, I have a piece of basic white cardstock, four by five and a quarter inches. It's gonna go right inside there, okay? Then we have a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that measures three inches by four inches and our designer series paper that is two and three quarters by three and three quarters, okay? And then I have some additional pieces of cherry cobbler and I guess I just need one of those and basic white to do our stamping and punching and then we'll use that little strip for those little hearts right there too, okay? So cute, simple, but you could even like this kind of deal right here, you could make a tag with that too and then put probably like another white circle or a night one, another one of those punches on the back and then you can actually write on the back, put a little ribbon through there and you are good to go. Okay, so let's do, we actually, I was gonna say we don't have any die cutting, but we do, hold on, that's all right though. Okay, so let's see, let's see, what are we gonna do here? Let's do our stamping on the inside here, right? Okay, so I want this one, this is my cherry cobbler ink, we're gonna use this one first, so we're gonna stamp the with love, so you guys see that nice easy tap, tap, tap. I will kind of rub my finger on there, but I'm not wiggling or rocking. That just helps me make sure that my ink all transfers off of the stamp and onto the paper. And then I, I always love these little um, snowflakes. So cute, right? Okay, so there's the stamping for the inside of the card. And then we might as well grab our piece right here and we're going to stamp again in our evening evergreen okay i'm going to stamp my label outline isn't that cool i really like that <laughs> yeah oh this good anna i'm hoping yes that could be some inspiration for you i know sometimes it is hard to get started but then once you do you're i think you're just so happy especially um you know 
when you can do it now before maybe the holiday rush, rush really begins and you can just kind of enjoy yourself, right? So we've got a happy and then holidays right there, okay? Uh, let's see, what, do we, what else are we gonna do? I think, keep thinking I'm like missing something, but I think we're good, right? There's not too much stamping to do on this, but I love kind of how you can build these sentiments with that stamp set. So again, here's our stamp set because it's hard to see backwards, right? But so this one, I'd use the happy right here and then the holidays right there. And then the with love went on the inside with those cute little um, snowflakes right there, right? Okay, so that's the idea on that. All right, let's do, we're gonna scoot this guy out of the way and these things can go here. <laughs> yep, okay, let's do our die cutting. Before I like forget that I need to do that, right? Okay, so I've got a couple of different dies that we are using. Okay. <clears throat> so get that one and that one. Okay, so we have one of our stitched circles from the Stylish Shapes dies. Hi, Lori, how are you? So yeah, you guys know, use these dies all the time. Love those dies. And then also, these are called the Give It A Whirl dies. And these are, this is just such a cute, set of dies we're going to use this teeny tiny little heart and i'm pretty sure i already die cut another one of these just have to see if i can find it in my little yes okay there it is i have another little heart already cut just so you guys don't have to watch me cut two of them you know it wouldn't be that bad but sometimes i remember to be efficient <laughs> not all the time but sometimes okay all right so and then these this little heart has stitching around it as well. Can you guys see? Oops, where are we? Are we in the light? There we go. Can you see that cute little, just teeny tiny little baby baby heart with the stitching? And they all actually, most of these things have some stitching too. This is just a cute little set of dies. We've got four different hearts and then some other little labels and things. And then all of that little bit there too, right? <laughs> Lori, I'm good even when I'm bad. Okay, you are pretty hilarious. Yes, okay, so just a cute little die set there as well. Okay, all right, and then this circle as well, again, with the stitching on it, right? Okay, so we got that one. There we go. All right, we're scooting this stuff out of the way. And then I'll show you guys this punch. I love this label punch, right? And let's see if we kind of get that. Can you guys see what we're doing? Yep. There's something about um, that outline I just think is so cool to be able to do that. Okay. All right. I think, are we ready to put things together? Let me find my adhesive. Okay. I feel like I moved stuff out of the way and now I don't know where everything is. Maybe it's underneath here. Okay, yep. <laughs> All right, so we are going to put some adhesive. Uh, I need a little bit more in the corner there. Put our adhesive on that piece to go right on the inside with the with love, right? Then, ooh, and isn't this pretty too? This vanilla with the gold snowflakes on it oh i just you're gonna be able to there's so many possibilities with this um ri uh, not ribbon but with that designer series paper i think okay so we are going to tie a bow this is the um where's the name the metallic edge cotton ribbon it's like a uh, vanilla and silver i'll say um cotton edge or whatever it was called right <laughs> metallic edge ribbon not cotton edge Metallic edge cotton ribbon, probably, because it's very soft. Okay, so we're just going to wrap our ribbon around here, and we're going to tie a pretty little bow. Okay. Ooh, I didn't leave myself very much. I think I'm going to, like, just have enough ribbon. If not, you can always... I always suggest leaving the ribbon on the bolt to work with. Yeah, look at that teeny tiny little tail. We'll see. Don't ever cut like a strip and try to, hmm, that's not gonna work. We need a little bit more. There we go. 
I need a little bit longer tail on my ribbon there. Okay, we'll try this over here. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is always leave the ribbon on the bolt because then when you're futzing it with, with it like this, you have a more ribbon to work with. I might be bow making challenged today here, I'm feeling like. Okay, that's getting better. You just kind of, I keep kind of um, pulling it, but then it loosens up, so then you gotta tighten it again. But I think we're good there now. Okay, shoo, okay. It's actually really easy ribbon to work with, so I may, might have made that look a little bit more complicated. And if you just kind of curl that up a little bit, then you don't like slice through the edges when you're trying to kind of move your ribbon around because I kind of want it over on this edge. But then this got a little curled up, so we're going to just fix that a little bit, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I want to add some dimensionals on the back of this piece. Okay, we'll just put a few in each of the corners. You guys can really kind of see the ribbon right there. Hello, Miss Deb. Thank you for sharing the video too. And yes, better late than never, right? Or, or later though, in this case, that's the kind of thing, right? Um, better even after the live is done than never. Okay, so we're gonna put that little piece right on there. Okay, then we are gonna add some more dimensionals behind this cute little label. Um, and I always say this, but I will include the details, everything that I've used on these projects, all of the colors and item, product codes, dimensions, all that good stuff will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon after I get everything uploaded. So I'm just putting some little mini dimensionals on the back of my baby hearts. I'm gonna add those, okay? Then we're gonna add some adhesive. And we're gonna just pop that maybe right about there. And then I had to, you know, I had to put a little bit of bling on here. So I used my little um, fest, or I guess, yeah, these are the festive pearls, right? Um, just added one little silver pearl to the corner of my heart right there, right? So cute, sweet, and simple, right? Mm. Yes, I do have the Playful Penguin Sweat, Anna. Um, that was a big hit last year because it coordinated with some of our celebration paper. Um, I think in January, I'm trying to remember how, or maybe that was in the fall. I think it was like the August, September celebration. So yes, I definitely have that stamp set. So many cute um, ideas out there too, because that was a super popular one. And yes, you're right. It's awesome that it's in the um, holiday catalog again this year too. So yeah, if you need ideas, I'm sure I have them on my blog. If you search back um, on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, you can go to Pinterest also, my Pinterest um, page at Gathering Inspiration. I've got ideas on there or just in general, lots of ideas on Pinterest. Um, I always just suggest typing in the name Stampin' Up and then Playful Penguins stamp set and you'll find a million ideas on Pinterest there as well. So yeah, good question. All right, so there is card number one, right? What is, oh, this, <laughs> I'm like, what's that little sleeve there for? We're gonna just put those, yeah, I lost my connection for a sec there. That doesn't happen very often. Sorry, hopefully you guys didn't really notice that. Okay, um, I am... We're gonna just clean these off with our chamois real quick. You guys know how much I love my chamois. One of those simple little tools. It's like not very exciting to buy, but once you have it, love it, love it, love it. It just makes cleaning your stamps so easy. Okay, all right, we're gonna get these things out of the way. Oops, I started putting them in the wrong tub. Just so I, you know, less confusion for me is better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Card number two, here we go. I love, so I just punched with that label punch a couple of um, punches right out of our designer series paper. And then similarly with one of the other labels, we stamped our little Christmas piece on there. And then I had to just add a little bit of beauty on the inside of the card, right? Okay, so let me tell you about this one. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? stamps out too. Okay, let me give you dimensions and then we'll do our stamping and die cutting, right? 
Okay, so this time we started with a piece of thick, very vanilla cardstock, okay? We're still in view, all right? I'm always worried things move. Okay, so this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, and then the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's, we're gonna do a tall card like that, okay? Then uh, this piece right here is very vanilla cardstock that measures four inches by four and three quarter inches. And then I have just a couple of strips. These are like half inch wide strips and I'm gonna actually just adhere them on there and then snip off um, kind of the ends. Um, this is more of that Lights Aglow Designer Series paper. You can see that pretty in the back too, okay? And then I just have some more pieces to do our stamping and punching and die cutting. So actually, why don't we just do that right now? We'll do, oh, isn't that funny? How did I, I must've done it like over here on the corner. So you can make it look square like this or kind of um, diamond shape, right? Depending on where or how you punch it, okay. And then this one, I love this punch, this label, so cute, right? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, all right, so we got both of those. Get those guys out of the way. Oh, okay, so let's see, let's do our embossing. We'll do that and then we'll come back and do our stamping, okay? Okay, so this was our very vanilla piece, four inches by four and three quarters, okay? They are, my die cutting and embossing machine, right? We are going to use just the regular platform. This is one of the wintry 3D embossing folders, okay? So we're gonna use this one with all of the, um, kind of the snowflakes on it, okay? We're gonna just put this right inside here and I'm gonna try to get it centered so I've got the same amount of, or about the same amount of very vanilla cardstock kind of peeking out on either side there, okay? And then put our other plate on top. Thank you, ladies. I know, well, it's, you know, Christmas cards. Might as well get started now before the Christmas craziness begins, right? Okay, so here is our embossing. And it's funny, when I first did this, when I was making this card, I was like, oh no, I see those lines on there. But they kind of disappear, um, I don't know, as time goes on um, or as you put more things on your card too. So it didn't really bother me, I have to say. At first it did and I was like, oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this like this. But then I kind of just kept going with it and realized, you know what? It's not really bothering me that much. So, and I'll show you that too once we get to that point. Okay, I'm gonna need that in a moment. Okay, let's do, let's let this right there. Oh, I need my vanilla piece here, don't I, right? Okay, so we are going to stamp again. So same idea with our Evening Evergreen ink. This time we have the other. I love these little labels though. So you could stamp it and make it look like a square or a diamond, either way. I think they're both beautiful. And then actually on the inside, might as well do this too. I'm gonna flip that over. Okay, so on the inside of our card, we've got our little holly and berries, and eh, we'll do that in a sec actually, because I wanna do the berries first. Okay, so with our cherry cobbler ink, we are gonna stamp Christmas first. Okay, we're gonna put, I've gotta like look at this, yep. I'm trying to look at my little example. We're gonna stamp Christmas right there, and then peace right down there. Okay, Whew, that worked out pretty well, okay. Then we have our little, I don't wanna get ink on these, right? Okay, so we're gonna do just our little berries and then our little leaves. Let's see, we're gonna do maybe like one there and one there. Okay, all right, so that's just a little bit on the inside of the card, okay? All right, let's close these guys up. We're actually gonna clean these stamps and get them out of here because I can already see I'm getting like little hints of color <laughs> in places that I don't want it. So we're gonna just clean those all. So easy to get those nice and clean though with that chamois, okay? All right, let's get those babies right out of the way because now we are gonna punch 
this little guy right here, okay? Trying to make sure I get everything lined up, okay? So we got that. Next, I want to, we are gonna add, I think it's easiest, actually, we're gonna add some adhesive across the top here. I'm trying not to get it too far down. It's not really gonna matter um, because we are gonna need to put adhesive on this to put it on the card, but somehow I think it's a little bit easier to work with, okay. And I just want, so like I said, these are little half inch strips. I'm just trying to make sure. That looks pretty straight, doesn't it? Um, without your glasses, it does, right? <laughs> okay, and then we'll put this one. Maybe it's easier to go a little bit sideways, huh? We do that one right there. Okay, all right. I think that, I'm gonna grab my glasses though, ladies. Okay. So we've got this, we're gonna just snip this off. There, I thought that was easier than trying to cut them. You could, you could just do four inch wide strips, but I don't know, somehow I like the idea of snipping these off. Okay, so there we go. We've got all of that. We're gonna just get these little bits out of the way. Okay, so now we can just add adhesive all over the back of this thing. And then we're gonna add it to our card front. Okay, put this, okay, right about there, right? Next, I want to, I'm gonna just run some adhesive just like that, and we're gonna add our ribbon. Okay, and so I think that'll just kind of hold it in place for us, right? We got that one there, and that one right there. There we go, okay. And then, I think I put these all on dimensionals. Let's take a little, nope, actually I did not. I put that one, only that one is on dimensionals. They're a little bit curled up, um, so that's what was kind of confusing me. We want that one to show there, right? Okay, and then that dimensionals are gonna go behind that label right there. Okay, so there and there. Okay, so we're gonna do the red one first, the cherry cobbler, I guess it is, right? With those stars, and then we'll put this one maybe right about there. Does that look straight? Okay and peel off these little babies. We're gonna put that one maybe right about there. Okay, and you can see how I used vanilla on here. Um, so you can kind of really, I think, go back and forth between using the basic white and the very vanilla. And then have to add a little bling, right? So we're gonna add one little, we're gonna add some pearls to our sentiment. And then I had to use a couple more silver ones because I love kind of pulling out that silver color from the ribbon. Put one there and one there. We're gonna add one more, maybe down there. And there we go. So ladies, isn't this so fun? So again, you could make some kind of a little tag with that Christmas piece, um, add a little ribbon, even put it on something larger if you need a little bit, you know, if you want a little bit more substantial tag. Um, but isn't that kind of, I just, this punch is so fun, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. Again, with that handmade wishes stamp set, I keep putting things up too high, don't I? Hopefully the whole day hasn't been like that, right? Okay, so reminder, because this is such a big deal, ladies, and thank you again, like I said, for all of your support in ordering so far. Okay, so, and actually that should say $50 now, okay? So just for the rest of September, if you put an online order in a $50 using this host code right here, you're gonna get one of each of these cards as a thank you. Oops, there we go. I keep moving that, right? Okay, one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. You get to pick from the um, gems, the three embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Uh, you also get to pick a celebration choice while supplies last, 
or an additional 10 free cards in addition to these 10 free Christmas cards. They're all different, so not everyone's gonna get the same stack of cards because I just have a ton of Christmas cards that I wanna get out to you guys. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me, uh, watching Facebook Live today. I hope you have a great day, a great week, great weekend, and we will see you guys in two weeks at the very end of September on our next Facebook Live. So thank you guys so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, thank you. Thank you.